You and I both love the Philippines very much, and we both wish nothing, nothing less than a better life and a comfortable life for all Filipinos. You know, I've been to the Philippines many times over three decades, and I'm absolutely passionate about the country. In fact, I'm married to a Filipina. My children are Filipino, my family are, my in-laws, cousins, you know, godchildren. Um, and I, uh, so as a result, you know, I, I'm, I'm passionate about the people. I also believe in standing up against racism and prejudice and uh, against any discrimination directed towards the Filipino people. But I've also developed an interest in politics and what I believe is the right direction to go into for the country. And this started when I went to the Philippines many years ago and I saw a lot of difficulties, you know, poverty and these things really, really upset me. So I believe, although I'm a foreigner, because I have a Filipino family, because I have Filipino wife, Filipino children, I do believe that I'm a stakeholder and I do believe I'm entitled to my personal opinion. I also believe that the uniteam of Sir Bongbong Marcos and Indai Sara Duterte is fundamentally important right now. You know, I see myself as somebody who can bridge the gap and somebody who would reach out to both camps. In fact, earlier on today, I congratulated Vice President Lenny Robredo on her um, new project, her new, um, is it Angat, Angat, Angat Buhai um, project, where she's setting up an NGO to help people. This is what the country needs. You know, this country needs a united Philippines. The country needs people to get behind unity, not to bash, not to create division, not to create anger. And I have to say, sir, your video does all of these things. I have several issues with your video. Firstly, you've um, uh, masked or you've uh, um, covered up the identity of all of the netizens from both camps. You know, I, I respect that and I respect people are entitled to their privacy. However, the way that you made it out was very biased. You said people are scared and, and they're scared for their lives, etc. You know, you've made it out to look like supporters of Bong Bong Marcos or in some way, uh, you know, angry or violent. You talk about anger, you know, you've posted views from a lot more netizens against BBM than were supportive of BBM. If you are truly gonna hi, if you are truly gonna make a an impartial video, you should calculate how many people have said things against BBM or as how many how many people have posi been positive. Uh, and 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 your video is very much biased. Uh, and you know it's it's not good, you know. I, I, I believe you need to be fair. Um, sorry for the disturbances, by the way, you know, I'm obviously at home with a family and, 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 you know, but this is such an important video, so I will continue. Um, you know, the way I see it is this, you are clearly looking for clickbait, you are looking for Pinoy baiting, and also you seem to be agreeing with this narrative somehow that there has been some kind of uh, election fraud, you know, you showed a particular one incident and you're saying about it's a, a partial count or something like that. You know, the fact is that 98% of the voters being counted, not only that, um, you know, there have been many uh, uh, already looking at the actual integrity of the election. And what they found out is that from a sample, I think of 15%, there has been 100% accuracy as um, reported on ABS, CBN and many other news channels. Also, please understand that you, the United States of America, uh, China, the United Kingdom and Canada have all commented that this is the will of the people and this was a democratic election process. You know, the results are absolutely uh, categorically 
uh, in favour of Bongbong Marcos, who will become the next president of the Republic of the Philippines, and Mamin Sara Duterte. Nobody can dispute that. Or like, it seems to be that your camp or your narrative is there some kind of election fraud and the vote isn't properly analysed or counted and it's in some way biased. It's not biased at all. This is the will of the people. If you look at every other election uh, candidate, uh, Sir Manny Pacquiao, Sir Isco, um, uh, you will see that all of them have, have conceded, even uh, Trillianis has, has, has conceded, meaning to say they all agree with the results. I'm not saying they, they are happy with the results, but what I'm saying is they all say we should respect the will of the Filipino people. If we are being told that, if Filipinos are being told that, how much more for you as a foreigner? You know, as a foreigner, of course you're entitled to your opinion on social media. I also regularly give my opinion on social media as well. You know, this is my own wall and I'm entitled to uh, uh, give my own viewpoint. The major difference of me and you, sir, is that you will notice that I'm, I could easily be monetized on Facebook. I'm fundamentally against it. I could very easily have these stars that you have. It's not a problem at all. I have a Facebook page. I, I'm, I'm able to be monetized immediately. Uh, I've, I've declined that. And the reason why I've declined that is because I fundamentally disagree from making money out of politics on Facebook. I think Facebook should be a platform for freedom of speech. I use my personal Facebook to be able to help people in the Philippines. A lot of people have contacted me in the past and I've been able to help with situations. So unlike you, I'm not trying to make money out of my political opinion. The other thing is, you know, you, you, you seem to be saying towards the end of the video, but I'm sorry to say, or, I'd, or, or the, the impression that you give is that you are very much against the presidency of Sir Bongbong Marcos. Well, I have to say, 31 million Filipinos right now are against your narrative. 31 million Filipinos right now believe that you are, are in the wrong and that this is entirely biased. You know, I do support freedom of speech. But when it's one-sided, when you are clearly angry, you are clearly pushing a negative agenda, you are clearly inciting young people to get even angrier, you are clearly um, uh, causing division. And this is the thing that upsets me the most. You know, I do have respect for, for, for others and other people's opinions. And I do wish you the best, sir. And if you were to continue helping Filipinos uh, through um, uh, various, uh, through, through difficult situations and helping Filipinos maybe with feeding programs, then I commend you for that. Uh, I, I haven't watched you personally. I haven't followed your, your page. So I don't know of all of your work. But I will say this before I end this video, and then I'll read some of these comments. You know, uh, I, I believe the Filipino people, at least the 31 million Filipinos, uh, are, are entitled to an apology. You know, as somebody said now, I don't see anything wrong with his video. He's entitled to his opinion as you are entitled to your own opinions. This is from Nobel. Uh, Nobel. You, you know, I agree with that. Of course he's entitled to his opinions, but it shouldn't be a biased opinion. He shouldn't be reinforcing stereotypes. He shouldn't be uh, promoting this this uh, narrative that the election was somehow fraudulent. Of course, there's going to be one or two cases on all sides of maybe something, maybe somebody's being being given money or whatsoever. I accept that. But the overwhelming majority, 32 million compared to 15 million, this is a massive, massive,